There is this self-awareness, self-development, self-growth that comes with living alone. Good girl, not a pill. Hope you know that. <laughs> you guys, do you know what dollar was when I was in my early 20s? Do you know what it later became as I grew, grew older? <laughs> Welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chamaka uba and this is real talks with amaka mm-hmm mm-hmm i don't know i feel like everything i did to my hair has scattered <laughs> i'm not your i'm sorry i'm not i'm not i'm not your regular creator youtuber i'm lazy when it comes to my makeup i'm lazy when it comes to makeup so my name is not like just like that <laughs> So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chamaka Uba and this is Real Talks with Amaka. In this channel, we talk about a lot of stuff. We talk about lifestyle, things that are happening. I do vlogs too. Um, if you're a, subscribe, a, a subscriber, welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're always watching me, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please help us sister grow. I'm begging in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those who are just tuning into my channel for the first time, I hope and I hope that you subscribe. Thank you. Today's video, I want to talk about the things that I did in my 20s that I regret doing like i really really regret doing it i wish i'd done something different i feel like i'll actually be a better version of myself if i hadn't done these things this is just me speaking on the things i wish that i had done differently in my 20s number one not living alone i regret not living alone when i talk about not living alone i don't mean um living with somebody living with your boyfriend living alone just you in the whole house living alone you are the one that you make decisions by yourself what you're going to do in the house you pay your bills by yourself you do everything by yourself god of mercy i regret not doing that there's this self-awareness self-development self-growth that comes with living alone having your own space you go out you come back it's just you you make your decisions by yourself i wish i did that in my 20s i didn't do that in my 20s there was a time i was supposed to do it i was supposed to do it work because i was walking very far work, very far away from my parents house and then voila when i was looking for a, a house the pandemic came and everything so it just scattered everything for me and then i just went from parents house to husband house like god i wish i could go back do it again i would definitely live alone i would definitely live alone it's 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 something that i did not explore and i regret not exploring it Number two, I regret not going out. <laughs> Why the hell did I not go out in my 20s? Why the hell was I always at, at home? Why, why is it that I did not go out? I did not see the world, explore the world. Why, 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 why did I not do that? Why did I not do that? It's one of the things I wish I did more. At least twice a, a month, I'm going out, I'm eating out, I'm seeing the world, I have this fancy place I'm going, I have this... Like, it, it doesn't even have to be anywhere fancy, like, just go out. I wish I did a whole lot of that, I wish I went out, I wish I saw the world. <sighs> I don't know, I was just scared of the big bad world, probably, but I, if I could do my 20s again, I would go out more trust me i would go out more i will not stay in my house every time i will go out more number three not investing i started investing in my 20s late i started investing late in my 20s trust me guys there is nothing better than investing i wish that i know what i know later in my 20s like in my late 20s i would have been investing from my early 20s guys sick i wish that i sought out means to invest my money and grow my money guys i don't know why i did not do this 
I don't know, maybe because I did not, I did not have the knowledge. Do you guys, do you know what dollar was when I was in my early twenties? Do you know what it later became as I grew grew older? Do you know? Do you, the investment that I even managed to do before I crossed over, guys. I, I, I don't know. I wish that I, 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 I wish I had known about it earlier, and I would have. It, it, it would have been better i don't i don't know guys i just wish i found out about investing earlier i wish i found out about investing earlier god this is one thing i regret i regret doing not investing i regret not investing earlier it's it's it is it's something that if if i had my chance i would do it all over again and i would invest a lot in everything anything investable anything that can be entire money can be invested in and it's going to yield money and it's legit trust me i would do it because money not the way for anybody trust me i was concentrating more on saving 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 and then when you save rainy days is going to come the rainy days is like the next day <laughs> and then it takes it and what's with investing you know that okay yeah i have something somewhere i wish i did that a lot younger in my 20s a lot earlier in my 20s yeah this one that i'm about to say is tied with the not going out because you have to go out to network i regret not networking when i was in my 20s when i talk about net not networking i'm I'm not, I'm not talking about just collecting numbers even the number self i find it hard to collect because i'm like i have a lot of numbers on my phone i don't talk to them how will i start collecting new numbers and i'll god i regret not doing that i i regret i regret god i, I just i just regret it i wish i had networked with people when i meet people i talk to them i try to create a relationship it doesn't have to be a friendship at least a relationship and acquaintance i started doing that later later like probably in my late 20s very very late 20s i'm talking about last year last two years so i started doing that very very late and i wish i had done that earlier i don't know probably because i'm scared i'm insecure i'm scared of having too much people talking to too much people because humans can be deadly and dangerous i was scared of that i probably that is the reason why it's not it's not an ego thing it's just that mm, i beg Makes it finish, you no know, happen. Do your day, make I day my day. But it's if you network with somebody, but you wouldn't even if you network with somebody and the person wants to give you a dick, you just just cut the person off. You block. You understand? But I didn't even try. I didn't even try. I wish I had tried. I wish I had tried, like to network, to get to know people, go closer to them, be have a relationship with them. It would. It's. I, I find out that you need people in life to succeed. You need people in life to succeed. So I regret not networking. I regret, regret it. But I guess I didn't go out enough. But even the little time that I went out, when I meet people, sometimes we will connect. I would literally have a long gist with you and talk, and we'll connect on different levels. But I refuse to collect your number. I refuse to like get to know you i refuse to say oh okay give me your number now let's be talking because i don't know i don't know i just i'm this kind of person i don't want people to see me finish i beg because i just did my day you understand let's just end it here i re i regret doing that i regret doing that honestly i if i could go back i'll collect every single number of the person i connected with and then if the person ends up not being what i really wanted it's just easy just delete and block simple so i regret doing not networking i regret not networking good girl not a pill hope you know that <laughs> i regret being an excessive good girl hmm. i regret being an excessive good girl oh what is mommy going to see mommy's going to get angry this one this one this one see without a little rebellion you are not going to go anywhere let me tell you something our parents their time is different from our time they know this but they don't understand it they don't understand that times have changed times have changed they will be saying times have changed but they don't understand how severe how severe the situation is yes they don't understand it so 
what they feel like being the good girl that they feel like paid them in the past might not be paying you now yes it doesn't pay now i wish i i, I knew that I, I i wish i understood that or maybe i understood that but i was too scared to execute it i wish that i actually jumped the fence to go to that event that will help my life i wish i did that <laughs> <laughs> good girl no they pay trust me mother doesn't always know best especially for this our ge present generation it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't pay i'm not saying i would have gone wide and do everything crazy no but i'm just saying that there's a certain level of rebellion that would have helped me to be a better version of myself today there's a certain level of rebellion that would have helped me to be a better fashion of myself. Number six, I regret not following my dreams earlier. <laughs> Having those doubts like, oh, will I be able to succeed? Will I be able to do this? I regret. I regret not starting early. I regret not starting immediately. I had passion. I will have passion for something and I would not be able to like pursue it. I would not be able to pursue it because of fear. I regret not following my dreams earlier. I wish I had followed my dreams earlier. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. I mean, I did follow my dream when it comes to education. Like, okay, this is what I want to study. This is the school I want to enter. This is this thing I want to do. I want to go to school. The only thing I was thinking about, I want to go to school. I want to go to school. Even though I had other dreams, I didn't pursue it. I was just like, school, 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 school. I regret, I regret, I, I regret doing that. I regret it. I wish I had pursued other dreams. I wish I had pursued my other passion. I wish I had been passionate about it. I, I, I regret I regret it. And if I could go back, I would do it all over again. I would pursue that those dreams that I I would I would I wouldn't concentrate so much on school. I'll pursue other dreams. Anything that I the the other dreams that I have for myself, I'll pursue it. I'll pursue that fashion career. I'll pursue God, a lot of things, guys. I that Please take me back. Take me back. I want to redo it. <laughs> it's never too late though. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I had this... I had this relationship with God. But I had a relationship with God because of the fear of my parents. <laughs> like, if you don't go to church, I'm not paying school fee. You must go to church. Raise up. Wake up. Do this one. Do that one. <sighs> so... In when I went, when I was able to break free from my parents, like from school, from the school level, I had some certain kind of freedom. Freedom. I wasn't really going to church. I wasn't really. I kind of like I. I had a relationship with God, but I did not have the kind of relationship that I sh that I that I'm supposed to have with God. So I regret not having a very tight relationship with God. I pray, oh, but when I, you guys know what I'm talking about, I pray because I'm from a Christian home. Do you understand? This is what is required of me because I'm a Christian. But you know that close relationship, I go to church sometimes, but that close relationship with God that I, that's, that makes you, like, you, you, I don't know if you understand, if you're a Christian, you understand what I'm talking about. I regret not having that. I regret not having that. I wish that I was, I literally pursued relationship with god i wish i did that i wish i did that but i did not do that in my 20s i'm still struggling guys some of this thing i'm saying it's not like i've been able to like i've not been it's not like i've been able to overcome it i still struggle with some of them especially this relationship with god i struggle with it like i'm seriously struggling with it but i wish i had tried I started trying in my 20s, guys. I regret not trying to go closer to God. This one, not taking risk. I regret not taking risk because I'm scared of failing. It's almost like the same thing with not pursuing my dreams. But risk is, when I mean risk, I mean that big idea that you have. All of a sudden, you have a big idea. It might not be your dream. Trust me. It might not be your dream, but you have this big idea. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay. Mm, if I try it, it will not work. How am I so sure that it will not work? It will work. Uh, let me just stick with the one that I want to do. And let me just stick with the one that I want to do. Um, let me not go and do it past myself. And then all of a sudden, in the next two... Let me, not, let me not give a specific time. But after a while, you will see somebody else doing that same thing that you had an idea of. <laughs> And you're like, 
think if I had known I would have done it. If I had known I would have done it. Oh, I don't want to spend money. I don't want to waste my money. Trust me. That money that you saved that you feel like you don't want to spend, you're still going to spend it. And you'll not be you'll not be able to account to the thing that you spent it on. But if you had been able to use it to pursue your dreams, if I'd been able if you'd be able to use it to pursue your dreams, <laughs> you're going to at least I tried. I regret not trying. Not taking risk. Okay, let it be that I failed. But at least I tried. I was playing it safe a lot of times. I was playing it safe. I'm, I couldn't even bring out money. Like, okay, I'm going to bring out money to pursue my dreams. I had to, to, to take, I'm going to take this risk. I'm not going to leave this money. I'll just leave the money. I beg go. I don't want to spend. I regret doing that. I regret doing that. I wish I had done better. I wish I had taken that risk. I wish I had taking that risk executed that big idea that i had i wish i'd done that but i was always playing it safe and i regret doing that hmm this one i don't even know how i slept i don't know how i slept i used to be a big reader i regret not reading enough books I, I i used to be a big reader in my teenage years I, I i was a big reader i could read two books in a day i'm not joking guys i could read two books in a day but as i grew older somehow i started dropping and dropping it got worse guys it got worse and i feel like it's because of the innovation of phones i got addicted to phones and everything that i wouldn't even pick up a book to read i'm still struggling with that there was one day i bought like three books i said i was going to read it no matter what i'm going to try to rekindle my reading abilities my reading passion because i really loved reading books i still love reading but when it gets to, I, I get bored easily, even though it's an interesting read. But I could read a blog, I could read a short post, I could read something like a page or two. But once it's getting to a 50 page read, 100 page read, hey <laughs> God, count me out. I wish, I, 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 I regret stopping i regret not reading enough books i i'm really st i'm still struggling with i've never even picked up a book to read in like how many years now i really want to rekindle that if you're going if there's a way you will help me i'm going to ask for help for this so is there a way you can help me with this one here go with this reading of a thing please help me this is the reason why whenever i turn on a movie whenever i'm watching a movie i must always turn on the subtitle because it's like i'm also reading <laughs> for me I must always turn on the subtitle because I really, really, really want to start reading back. I feel like I used to write before. I feel like because I stopped reading, I've not been able to like re um, rekindle this writing passion. I've taken writing um, courses. I will write if it is necessary. I would write if it is necessary. When I mean necessary, if it is educational, academical, or um, if it has to do with um, applying for a job or doing something, or if I have to do with a job, I would definitely write. But the way I used to write in my teenage years, I would write because I just have an idea or have a passion. I don't do that too much anymore. In fact, I don't do it enough. I, I don't do it at all. I don't I there was a I wrote two novels or maybe two story story books when I was a teenager. Even though I don't know where they the where they were, but it was pretty good. I wish that I really, really, really want to connect to that. It's not I don't want to chase it as a as a career, but I really I there's some gifts that or some talent that you have and it dies off and you'll be like, Oh my god, I wish I could reconnect with this and I used to do this thing. No, I really want to reconnect with reading and writing. Reading, you can only write when you read enough. That is just the truth. They are they are intertwined. You, there's no way you can you can separate them. You understand? I really, really wish I read enough books in my twenties. I regret not doing things immediately. Immediately. In other words, I regret procrastinating. I regret procrastinating. I procrast I procrastinate a lot. Guys, I'm not even joking. Even up to now, I still struggle with it. I procrastinate a lot. A lot. Hey God. I pro I can procrastinate for Africa. Before I started making videos, I got a um a stand and it stayed two years in my house. In fact, when did I start making videos? Two years plus. I'm like, okay, I'll make a video today. Oh, I'll make a video next day. I'll make... Mm, I procrastinate a lot. And all these things. The, the, I, why, did I, why did I do that? 
this is one of the reasons that affected me not pursuing my dreams that I've not even started still pursuing up to now. Like I procrastinate a lot. I regret procrastinating. I I I don't know. I just I just wish I just wish I could take back take back the hands of time. I'm I'm grateful for where I am now. I'm grateful, but I feel like if I had done some of these things, I would be a better fashion of myself. So I get procrastinating. I procrastinate a lot. So guys, so there you have it. These are the things that I regret doing in my, or regret not doing in my twenties. I don't even know the title. The title is confusing. Not doing, doing whatever. I just wish I did all any of these things that I just mentioned, or I wish I did not do any of this, all of these things that I just mentioned. I would have been, a, I would be a better version of myself or not. I don't know. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like and share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Move your long bit. Subscribe, and draw. Pico, pico, subscribe on. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. I'm going to catch you in my next video. I'm signing out right now.